Hey gang, what's going on? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. And thanks a lot for making a little time out of your day to watch the video, much appreciated. Today guys, we're gonna be talking about my old time favorite, one of my favorite lures of all time, the Rebel Spoonbill Minnow. Gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish it and when to fish it. Um, the biggest bass I have ever hooked in my entire life came on this thing. So I'm gonna give you guys some good tips on it. And real quick guys, I just wanna remind you, anybody out there looking to check out our Fish the Moment Lake Map Breakdowns, um, I know a lot of anglers that watch this channel are just getting started out in fishing and our lake map breakdowns, what they do is they give you 40 GPS waypoints on a bunch of different lakes across the country. Um, you, we got them up on the fishthemoment.com website, um, gives you tips and advice on how to fish each spot. You can download them to your computer. Um, it's a great way to learn more about your favorite lake. Um, and also if you, if the lake you fish is not on there, you can book a virtual lesson with us to uh, learn more about your favorite lake. So I'll put the fish the moment uh, link in the description. You guys can check that out. Much appreciated. Okay, guys, the spoonbill minnow, man. This is like the original jerk bait right here that people started using years ago. In fact, this very model here is probably 40 years old itself. Um, this was the predecessor of all the modern day jerk baits, like the Mega Bass Vision 110, the Rogues, all the you know jerk baits, the Berkeley Stunner, all that type of stuff came from this right here. Deep Build Rogue was the original jerk bait, and this. Actually, I, I got in on it when it started. This was sort of developed here in the Ozarks, right where I live here, Tabor Rock Lake, Bull Shoals Lake. And the way that we originally started fishing it is that our lakes had a lot of standing timber back in the 70s, cedar trees, standing timber. And we would reel these rebels down next to those uh, standing timber and let them suspend. You know, we'd weight them, we'd put different weights on the hooks and the uh, bellies right here and have them suspend right next to those uh, trees and catch a bunch of big ones. I I caught probably more seven to eight pound bass on that technique back in the late 70s and early 80s than any other time in my life. But anyway, the Spoonbill Rebel guys is super highly effective still today. And it's sort of like, um, as our lakes have changed a little bit, the way that I fish a little, is a little bit different. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, in 2023, my favorite way to fish the Rebel is over deeper grass beds. If you guys have grass beds, I don't care what part of the country they're in, you can take this rebel and you can reel it over the top of those grass beds and let it suspend where it just barely, or weight it. This thing is pretty buoyant without a weight, but weight it where it just barely floats up like that. And you can catch some big fish throwing this thing over the top of, uh, of uh, grass beds like that. Another uh, way to catch them on the Spoonbow Rebel that's really good, is around boat docks. One of the things that since this bait gets down really deep quick with the with the deep lip, I like to throw it down the sides and in front of the boat docks, reel it down there and again, let it stop and suspend. Caught a lot of fish doing that. And also just on your typical jerk bait type areas, like on main lake and secondary points, along bluff banks, anything, anything like that. But you work the rebel a little bit different. You know, when you're in most jerk baits, you know, you throw them out there and you're, you, you jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause like that. You don't want to work the rebel the same way simply because of the size of the lip on it. This lip right here is more of a crankbait lip. So the way that I like to fish rebel is I throw it out there, I reel it down, and then I pull it, take up the slack, pull it like that. And even though it's a jerk bait profile, you work it different with this lip because what happens is you reel this bait down like this and let and let it stop and then you pull it like that and as you're pulling it it wiggles like a crankbait and there's just something about that stop and pull it, you know just like that it gets you a lot of bites now sometimes you know when i'm pulling it i may twitch i may twitch it a little bit like that and let it stop but it's not like that jerk jerk pause like a traditional jerk bait you're not this bait is not designed to go side to side like a jerk bait. It's designed to, to, to get down more like a crankbait to come up like that. It's just it's just a different type of a presentation. So anyway guys, give it a try. They still make it. It's the rebel it's the old rebel spoonbill minnow. Still get them today. Um just, I, it's just a it's a big bass lure, man. I've got a lot of big ones on it. So hope it helps out guys. We'll talk later.